Hey guys, what's up? Legend BTV here. Um, back with a new review. This is the review of the new Linkin Park record entitled One More Light. Now, Linkin Park, this is their seventh record. They're an alternative rock group, if you use the term loosely now, um, <laughs> that, uh, you know, once again formed around the late 90s. And um, there's a lot of groups that are still going today that have been from the late 90s. So like Maroon 5, um, Kings of Leon, Green Day, like a lot of bands. A lot of bands have been going for a long time. And unfortunately, 2017, as I've said before, is the year where many of those rock bands have went a more electronic pop style, um, which I don't even really know how to um, pronounce, because unfortunately, they're giving, they're giving electronic, the genre, the electronic genre, a bad name by, like, because a lot of people think they're selling out, making this electronic pop crap. Which, um, no, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, electronic electronic, and pop both are, are really good when they're done correctly. It's just, unfortunately, some of these bands just aren't doing um, anything uh, with the sound. They're just using it to get commercial hits and just follow the trends of 2017 Top 40 Radio. And I probably said the same thing that many other critics are saying right now. But... Linkin Park's kind of following the trend with this album. Um, I was actually really, like, I was anticipating it at first until I saw um, the single <laughs> Heavy featuring Kiara, a nameless pop singer that, honestly, um, she'll be irrelevant in about six months' time. So, once Heavy's off the radio, I can't see her getting any more hits. Like, her single that she just dropped, I mean, did any of you know about it? I forget the name of it, even. So yeah, and no, it's not gold. She dropped a new song, but I, I forget what it's called. So yeah. Anyways, so then I listened to Linkin Park's song "Heavy" featuring Kiara, and um, well, let me give give a basic review on it um, first, and then we'll get into the full album. Um, honestly, "Heavy" "Heavy" is like the definition um, of a wasted potential pop hit. Like honestly, it could have been one of the best hit songs of the year. But unfortunately, it's just squandered by um, flat production, um, like a melody that's just hidden in the background, just thanks to a bunch of like bass over melody um, freaking compositions and stuff. And like really, um, uh, like Chester's voice is like really just uh, here. Like, and the lyrics are so dumbed down and really just watered down Linkin Park lyrics. Like they, they're trying to um, be like some kind of um, 21 Pilots song. And um, I'm like, uh, I already rolled my eyes when I heard those lyrics because it's just like, uh, pandering to teens that think their life is hard. And some friends of mine are like, oh, well, I mean, you probably don't get it because, I mean, like, you know, you're, you're like the kind of guy who just goes around being all happy and stuff and you don't really get the problems that other teens face. And I'm like, okay, maybe I don't. But still, um... They're just the they're just trying to pander to you guys. This is just commercial fluff, guys, for real. But um, honestly, I would get, I would get it. Like I would like the song more if there if it wasn't so bland. But it is. It's it's very bland, very mediocre at best. Uh, oh, Chester's voice, might I mention, is very flat. Like very uh, just it sounds like he's losing his voice. Like, and I know um probably other people have mentioned that, but honestly, I feel like in the song. His uh, voice is just so like, ugh, it's so like raspy in a bad way, and it's just like really, ugh. And oh my god, some of the lines that they just repeat over and over, so that way they can get like millions of girls on Instagram to just um, put that on their posts or Facebook posts or something, and just kind of reference the song. And it's like, oh my god, like the song just screams sellout, right down to the fact that they got Kiara, who scored a hit last year on there. I mean, thankfully the song doesn't have a really annoying chopped up vocal chorus, but you know, they've done that a few times on this album, uh, kind of. So yeah. Um, how'd the album turn out? Well, the album reeks of a electronic pop, uh, mesh production with trap sounds and like all, you know, I don't even really know how to describe this. It's not quite electronic. Not quite pop, not quite trap. It's like a, a weird blend of all these genres together. I mean, like, a lot of people are just, like, straight to call it pop. But I just call it, like, confusing or a mess um, of just 
really big proportions. Like, for real, this album just kind of is weird to listen to. But, I do not think the album turned out as bad as other people are saying it was. Um, now, I mean, I understand. I definitely understand why you think, why people, um, some of you guys aren't liking this album. Honestly, I don't think it's a great album. Uh, I don't. But, uh... I don't think it's a bad one either. I mean, some of these tracks are really enjoyable. Like, I, I, I honestly, like, some of these are really good guilty pleasures. Like, um, you know, the track Good Goodbye, for example. It's just, it's got this nice, um, got this, I mean, it's not like the most vibrant melody or anything, but it's just like, his voice is just so actually really good here. And it's so, um, like, makes a nice melody for the song, just his voice in general. And they have this, like, kind of, um, Albert and the Chipmunk kind of squeaky-esque voice like, kind of, um, uh, like, I don't know how to, just this really squeaky mouse voice or something, and, uh, and I don't know why, I mean, I, that, would, that would probably upset you guys who think this is a bunch of sellout crap, but honestly, I like it, I think it goes well with it, I mean, if they left it out, it'd probably be a bit blander, but I'm really glad, actually, they put it in, I think it works with the song, um, adds a nice little flavor, and something I get excited about, Whenever that part comes on, I'm like, oh, yes, I love that. <laughs> um, sadly, uh, some tracks towards the end do feel like fillers, like uh, the song Sharp Edges. Uh, like, and um, you guys are probably wondering, well, that's that's natural for some albums. I'm like, yes. But when you have a 10-song album, like, really, honestly, like, a fillery song like that, like, and th there's two, actually, like, the one before One More Light, uh, is just really fillery, like, really, um, not, um, of any, that much substance of all, and just kind of devoid of, like, anything. It does nothing for me, unfortunately, so that's kind of sad. But, um, back to things I do like about this record, um, I, uh, like, I do like the song Invisible, because, I mean, it's, it's kind of nice, and it has a nice melody-ish. But, um, unfortunately, that gets, that's right in the middle of two of the worst tracks on this thing, um, uh, Heavy and also Battle Symphony. Like, honestly, Battle Symphony is just really generic and bland, uh, commercial pop, in my opinion. Like, there's nothing really about this song that stands out. Like, when I saw the, saw the title Battle Symphony, I thought, man, this is gonna be an anthemic chorus, just rocking, like, come on, you know, yeah, let's go. But, um, <laughs> Unfortunately, you guys, this just wasn't what I expected. It's just, it, it sounds watered down. I mean, like, uh, that's kind of the term I can use to describe a lot of this record, unfortunately. Uh, it just seems kind of watered down. This is not, in my opinion, the best that Linkin Park can do. Um, but um, there are some good tracks here, and honestly, there's some good moments that um, I feel like I could, I could actually vibe with, I could get into. But honestly, I don't think the whole record is is good in general. But like, um, I feel like uh, like not all the songs are good, but overall, I think it's decent. Um, it, it's a decent project. No, no, no. Um, I don't think it's bad. Um, I don't think it's great. Um, definitely not perfect. Not even great. But um, I'm not. Let's just say I'm not hating this album as much as um other people do. And I know you're probably just like. Well, that's because you're 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 like 15, you know. You you like a bunch of commercial pop fluff. No, actually, I don't. I'm actually not really into a bunch of bands um, that a lot of people like, and I'm not going to say that because I'm not going to say which ones because you guys will probably hate me for that because and everything like that. But um, anyways, put in the comments your rating of this um, new Lincoln Park LP, the newest LP from LP <laughs> Lincoln Park, um, and. Um, Ah, well, kind of a mixed review, honestly. I'm thinking a um, an extremely light 6 out of 10, and a recommendation for pop fans or um, people who like the single Heavy. If you like the single Heavy, um, check out this record. It probably it kind of sounds a lot like it. Um, and if you're a Linkin Park fan, um, and, I mean, you need to really be able to... Um, get with their new sound chains, because I could see this turning a lot of fans off, and it already has. This this album has a two and a half star rating on iTunes, literally. Like, I remember back when um, Sellout Records used to be able to get get away with four and a half stars, like, on iTunes, but now it's just like, nah, and people aren't taking that Sellout crap anymore, or maybe it's just the Sellout crap is 
really declined into a bunch of garbage. But, um, wow, this review didn't end up being that positive. Um, but it, honestly, guys, I think I, I think I talk crap about the album a bit more than I really think about it. But honestly, it's just like, I just, I hate how every band in 2017 is like doing this. Like, why are they doing this sound? Like, this electro pop cash in chain smokers garbage. Oh my god, that's pretty much what I think of it. Like, like it's just chain smokers cash in crap. Like, why? <laughs> why? Ah, God, I, I really hope the chain smokers go extinct one day. Extinct? What are we, dinosaurs? <laughs> um, yeah, I just really hope they just fade and lose all their momentum and everything else. I mean, like, I mean, I don't wish anything bad for the chain smokers. Like, I, I'm not gonna say like I hope they die or anything, but um, I'm just gonna say like I hope they become irrelevant soon because hopefully, since not very many of their singles from the album. Um, charted, then they won't be that popular anymore, and for good reason. Anyways, guys, this has been the Lincoln Park One More Light Review, and I'm sorry I got off on a tangent about the Chainsmokers again. So, um, <laughs> this has been Legend BTV. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and enjoy for more videos. And, oh my god, happy 50th video, guys. I, I'm so happy this has been my 50th video. Um, and it's been on a big album, and um, I, my, I might have a 50th video spectacular coming soon, which won't be my 50th video spectacular, but, you know, it's pretty good anyway. So, bye, guys. I, 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 I.